Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Suprus electronic lighter and I am just thrilled to get my hands on it because I think the concept is excellent. A lighter that charges from a battery pack and does away with the combustible gas? Sign me up. It does ship in nice retail quality packaging, meaning it's good to go for gift wrapping purposes, and we do see on the back that German and UK based support are theoretically available. But before moving on, let's see what comes in the box. Alright guys, I'm actually pretty excited to get my hands on this thing. This is an electric lighter from Suprus. Uh, looks like we slide that forward to release the two electrical probes, contacts, conductors, whatever you want to call it. We've got our four LEDs right there indicating our charge status. And then we just press that button again. <laughs> I love these little electric lighters. They're, they're like tiny little stun guns. Uh, charging, charging is on the back, and guess what? It's USB-C. I'm so glad to finally see USB-C trickling into you know low-cost rechargeable type devices. I also love the fact that when not in use, the uh, tip here retracts back into the body. Um, I think that's a great safety feature. I have another one of these. And it's always concerned me a little bit that it kind of just hung out there. What if it was kind of like left in the on position and then just like, you know, rolled in a drawer or something? At least this one is sort of recessed in there. So even if it did roll, it still couldn't really depress. And then of course, once you slide it closed, you know, there, there's nothing to trigger it. So I feel from a safety standpoint, this one is sort of a leg up on some of the other ones, you know, the ones with the uh, flexible necks. And no electric lighter test would be uh, complete without a few sample burns. So. Let's start with the easiest here. Just some, uh, just some little printer paper. Uh, there we go. No problem there. Uh, now I've got some real thin cardboard, or maybe you'd call it craft paper. There we go. No problem there. How about some thicker cardboard? This is like uh, from an Amazon box. Oh, there we go. And now here's the real test. Can it punch through electrical tape? These things run at super high voltages. Really low amps, but really high voltages. Which is why it's able to uh, you know, arc so much. All right, what's going on here? Can we punch through the electrical tape? Oh, we can. All right, no, we don't want to get cancer. So, all right, should have no problem lighting most things. And with demos and tests out of the way, let's see how it does in the real world. Here's a candle. Good to go there. How about this propane fire pit? And that's another success story. There is one last thing I wanted to show you guys, maybe a consideration if you're in between this style, the Suprus, or one of the many different flexible neck style electric lighters. And while I do like this style overall, I think, uh, this style does have one advantage, and that is how close your hands are to the actual lighter head. So, well, flip it around <laughs> if I had it the right way. There's the lighter, my hands are, you know, next to each other and the lighter head's there and all the way up here on this one. If I put the two lighter heads side by side, you could, you know, you can see your hand is a good four inches closer to the, four, three inches closer to the lighter head uh, on this flexible neck version. So that might not be a huge deal for like candles, but maybe if you're like getting down into lighting a barbecue grill, something like that, uh, it's a consideration. Overall, I really like this unit. The fact that the head is retractable and the ignition button is covered are both big pluses for me. Furthermore, the use of USB-C for charging is much appreciated. I'd call this one a winner.